Welcome to the e-learning for Sage 50, on the topic of delivery order and return. This topic demonstrates where and how to enter a delivery order, when you fulfill a customer's order. This topic also explains where and how a sales return is recorded in Sage 50. Let us start with how to enter the delivery order. Select the customer. Note that all the necessary information is already filled. If there is a related sales order, you can select the sales order and all the details will be copied over. You can specify the delivering location of the items. After you have saved the delivery order, you can print it. If your company is a GST registered company, please take note on the time of supply, 21 days rule. The 21 days rule stated that after the goods being delivered, a tax invoice must be issued within 21 days else time of supply will be moved to date of delivery. To make it easier for you, all uninvoiced delivery order are listed on the GST dashboard, to remind you to issue invoice on time. Sometimes, when you are at the warehouse floor, picking items for delivery, you can create delivery order via Sage Connect using your mobile devices. When selling merchandise to customers, unfortunately sometimes things don't go quite as planned. Occasionally, customers may return items of inventory for various reasons. In Sales Return Entry screen, after you have selected the customer, you can link it to a delivery order or sales invoice, and all details will be copied over. If you link it to a delivery order, you can only specify quantity to replace. If you like it to a sales invoice, you can specify quantity to replace, quantity to refund or both. For quantity to refund, system will auto-generate a sales credit note once saved. Thank you, and have a nice day.